Hi friends, it's been a long time and I miss you. I've been sick, you, you can hear it in my voice still. Some of you have prayed for me and I'm thankful for that. It's been a hard week. You can imagine getting sick in this kind of climate right now. The fear and the anxiety of, you know, when, am I, am I going to be one of the numbers that just gets added to this, this bulging number that we just keep seeing on our screens day after day? It's been a hard week. You, you yourself can probably remember hard weeks that you've had, the, the parts and the pieces of those weeks that made them so hard, the fear, the, the worry, maybe the, the anger that made them hard. One of, one of the hardest weeks that I've had was way back in April of 1997. And it was the week that my dad died. It was a hard week. But God gave me a scripture verse in that week that has become a sort of a life verse for me that comes back time and time again to sort of mark off these sorts of days. And it's Galatians 2.20. And some of you are already starting to recite the words because it's a familiar verse for a lot of Christians, which I'm thankful for. But it goes like this. It goes, I have been crucified with Christ. I no longer live. It is Christ who lives in me. The life I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Man, I can't tell you how many times those words have have settled this guy's restless soul. And, and this past week was no different. God reminded me of this scripture passage last week. The thing that I noticed about it in particular this week is that that word flesh for Paul, that, that's a bad word. It, the Greek word is sarx. It's a, it's a sharp sounding word. It sounds like shark, doesn't it? But it's the word sarx and, and it... And it it's this place, it's this domain where the power of sin and death reign. And for Paul, it's a, it's a bad word. It's, it's where fear and anxiety and anger and, and the whole long list of sin are born. But Paul does something in that verse that, that was awesome. He, he, he takes the flesh and he brings it into submission to this greater life of faith that we live, that I live in Christ Jesus, who loved me and gave himself for me. And man, that ministered to me. And I want to pass that on to you. And what I want to say to you is this, is that we are kind of on the front edge of, of, of a lot of change in our society. And, and you're going to be scared. And you're going to be anxious. There's going to be times where you're going to be, there's going to be fear and there's going to be anger that's just going to, it's going to boil up in you and kind of explode out like a shook up soda pop. And, and kids are going to bicker. It's going to seem like kids are bickering more and, 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 and you're going to snap at your kids more. And, you know, we're, we're going to break down and we're going to cry sometimes and, and, or, or we're going to rage sometimes. And what I want you to hear is that you're not broken in those moments so long as you submit those moments to this greater life of faith that we live in the Lord Jesus Christ who loved us and loved you, gave himself for you. And not just to, not just to bring you to heaven, but to actually sidle up next to you in this time and, and settle out that restlessness.